Well, now the Modi government 3.0 is completing its first 100 days in office. In the first 100 days of Modi's third term, significant infrastructure projects worth 15 lakh crore were launched, focusing on roads, railways, ports and airways, including the Vadhwan mega port in Maharashtra and the upgradation of rural roads. The farmer welfare initiatives saw about 20,000 crore rupees distributed to 9.3 crore farmers alongside boosts in MSP and irrigation projects. For the middle class, tax relief measures were introduced with ease of doing business, which saw corporate tax reductions and support for MSMEs and various startups. The youth and women empowerment programs were expanded in the last 100 days with substantial investment in skill development, the SHGs and employment schemes. The government also launched initiatives for OBC, the scheduled caste, the scheduled tribes and minorities such as the development of the tribal villages and the expansion of education programs. In the healthcare sector, Ayushman Bharat was expanded in the last 100 days and new medical seats have been added. Science and technology received a major, major boost with a national research fund and space startup support by the Modi government. Key governance reforms included replacing the colonial era laws, creating new districts in Ladakh and introducing measures to address urban flooding. Security improvements, military prowess, included peace agreements and the training of 5,000 cyber commandos with foreign policy achievements that saw Prime Minister Modi visiting key countries and India hosting major international summits. 100 days of Prime Minister Modi's 3.0 government. The latest paradigm shift, of course, in the foreign policy that we're telling you about at this point in time, essentially redefining India's global foot footprint. Even amid India's hosting of the G20, India was in a clarion call mentioned as the voice of the global south. And right now, India is redefining its own global policy.